So this is a bit off topic in a way, but um, I was doing some some calculations the other day, and I needed to figure out what um, sine of a couple of the sine and cosine of a couple of common angles were, um, and I can never remember all of them of the of the common angles. Now the common angles would be um, things like thirty degrees. 45 degrees, 60 degrees, and 90 degrees. For some reason, I just, I mean, I can't keep in my head what the sine, cos, and tan are of those all together. Now, some of them, some of them I'm fine with. But the things that I can remember is what the sine function looks like something like that, going from negative 1 up to 1 with a zero point here. And I remember a few things about this. This is pi radians, and this is 2 pi radians, and that's the same thing as 180 degrees, and that's 360 degrees. And I know that this, the cosine function is starts at 1, drops down to 0, at the same point that sine is equal to um, 1, and then it drops down to negative 1 at the same point that sine's equal to 0, crosses up here, and it goes like this. So there, it's basically the sine curve, but shifted um, a quarter period to the left. And then I also know a few things about um, right-angled triangles. Um, well, one thing in particular, um, the z squared is equal to x squared plus y squared. Good old Pythagoras um, taught us that one. And then there's a couple of other things that um, come into play for figuring these things out. Um, you have things like an equilateral triangle has all angles equal. And if you have um, have an, an equilateral triangle has all angles equal, but also all sides are equal length. So if you've got equal angles, you've got equal length sides. And that lets you figure out, basically, all of this table. So, for instance, oh right, I should have put a zero over here, so let's just make it zero column, 45, 90. So sine of zero is zero. Cos of zero is one. And then when we get to 90, so we've got um, something here, and we've got something here, and we've got something here, 30. Now, not exactly, well, yes. Sine and cosine are going to be equal at 45, and we'll just have to figure out what that is. Um, so sine of uh, 90 is 1, and cos of 90 is 0. So these things go from 0 to 1 and 1 to 0. And then this is just um, tan is opposite over adjacent, and... Um, so when the angle is zero, y is zero, so opposite must be sine, right? So if I've got an angle that is like this, this is y. So if sine of zero degrees is close to zero, that means the opposite is sine, y is equal to sine. Sometimes I can't even remember this. Sine theta, x is equal to cos theta. Okay. And tangent is opposite over adjacent, so tangent of 0 is 0, and tangent of 90 is undefined. That lets us figure out the rest of these. Now, um, if we have uh, 45 degree angles, so uh, x is equal to y, because this is 45, and this is 45, and this is 90. Tangent of 45 is going to be equal to 1, which kind of makes sense, because tangent is also something akin to the slope of, a func of an angle. So you see if the tangent of a horizontal line is 0, and a vertical line is undefined, the slope of a vertical line is undefined, slope of a 45 degree angle, that should be 1. Rise over run. Now, um, so if we put this 45 45 degree 
circle uh, into a circle where this is the unit circle so this length is 1 let's just call that equal to 1 now we've got z squared equals x squared plus y squared so 1 squared is equal to x squared plus y squared but x and y are equal because opposite angles are equal so we've got 1 is equal to 2x squared or 1 over the square root of 2 is equal to x by taking dividing both sides by a half by 2 that's equal to x squared and taking the square root of both sides that cancels out over there and so we've got 1 over the square root of 2 so 45 1 over square root of 2 1 over square root of 2 now that um, makes um, uh, narrows us down to figuring out what tan sine and cosine of the 30 degrees are so for that one we're going to use an equilateral triangle so that's equal to that is equal to that we're going to put that in a unit circle so that is equal to length one so that's equal to length one half and this is equal to length i don't know so sine of but since these are all equal angles so that's equal to that is equal to that that's going to be 60 that's going to be 60 and that's going to be 60 right um, angles in a triangle add up to 180 so that means this angle here is 30 so that means sine of 30 is one half what's the cos of 30 well that's uh, what's the cos of 60 um, that's adjacent so that's one half and now that just leaves us to figure out what this is so x squared is equal uh, one half squared plus x squared is equal to one squared right so one quarter plus x squared is equal to one or x squared is equal to um wait what am i doing subtract a quarter from both sides three quarters so x is equal to root three over two why because square root of x squared is just x and the square root of 3 over the square root of 4 is the same thing as the square root of 3 over 2. So root 3 over 2, root 3 over 2, and that fills up our table. Now, um, tan is sine opposite over adjacent, so 1 half divided by root 3 over 2 is 1 over root 3 invert and multiply the twos cancel i think and then tangent is root three over two divided by one half invert and multiply so that's equal to root three and i think that that fills out our table and for the life of me, I don't know why I just don't memorize memorize this frickin' thing, but I don't. And every time I want to calculate sine or cos of 30 or 60, I have to go through this ridiculous derivation. Just because I can't be bothered to memorize eight numbers drives me nuts sometimes. But that's just the way of the world sometimes.